Welcome to The Snap. This is the segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. This week, we are gonna be discussing the contact form and some of the recent changes we have made. As many of you may have noticed, we have updated our website back in October. And with that came some slight changes to the contact form that I'll be sharing with you today. The first thing I wanna share with you is just a quick reminder to disable Adblock if you have that extension installed on your web browser as it can interfere with the submission and it will result in us not getting your question. Now, let's get into the contact form itself. The process is pretty self-explanatory. As you can see here, the contact form asks some basic questions such as your name, email, and phone number. For order number, just plug in that information. And if you have purchased from one of our many retailers, just list the name of the retailer you have purchased the item from. And if it was a gift or you can't remember, just put NA. For the question, what can we help you with? This is where you can let us know why you are trying to reach us. There are several options that I'll briefly go over. I would like to change my order. Please use this selection if you change your mind on the items you purchased or need to change the delivery address. There is an issue with my order. Select this option if you were accidentally sent the incorrect item or the product you purchased is missing from your package. Delivery issues. Please select this option if you have questions regarding the delivery status of your order. For example, if you receive a tracking number and it hasn't updated after several business days, or if the tracking says delivered and you never received your package, select this option. I am having issues with my device or product. If you just received your product and something was damaged upon arrival, or you suspect the device is defective, please let us know by selecting this option. General questions and advice. If you have questions about our product and wish to know more, let us know by selecting this. Suggestions. When you hear George and I talking about receiving ideas and customer feedback on Dynavap Live, this is how you can submit that information. Let us see those awesome suggestions. And lastly, warranty. If your cap stopped working, or your Dynastash lid came off, or another issue that you suspect is covered under warranty, let us know by selecting this option. After that, all you need to do is prove you're not a robot and click send. If your submission was successful, you will see this message. Your contact form inquiry was successfully submitted. Please allow one to two business days for a response. For more urgent matters, please give us a call at 719-396-2827. We look forward to assisting you. And if you did not see that message, your submission was not successful, so please resubmit and try again. We hope you found this snap informative. And once again, I'm Retail Josh, and this has been The Snap. Thanks for watching. And that has been The Snap. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos here and here, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for when we release more great content.